All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to a comparison video. And it's overall just like, I'm not trying to say like which game is better, but which game would fit you more. I guess like, you know, talking on both different games. But anyways, I'll be talking on Ground Branch and Ready or Not. Both of those games are mad fun. Like, I've, I've had a great time playing both of those games. Um, both of them are in early access too, so a lot more is to come with those games. Um, and I believe like with Ground Branch, they have like a whole list on the Steam page. It has like a whole list of all the things that's coming to the game. So yeah, go check that out. And with Ready or Not, I'm pretty sure you've seen, if you've seen videos on both of those games, I'm 100% sure you have seen videos on Ready or Not and just all of the fun. Like it, what's crazy about Ready or Not is that when you see videos of people playing it, it, it motivates you. It, it, it makes you want to go play it. Because I bought the game, hadn't really been playing it, and then was, yeah, watching videos of people playing it. And I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and play it. And honestly, it was, it's been one of the greatest games I've played in recent years. Same with Ground Branch. I'm like, Ground Branch was made by the original, um, one of the, I think it was either one or maybe multiple, but it was made by... I think it was one of the original people that was behind the, um, one of the, it was the, the Tom Clancy Rainbow Six games. And, yeah, I'm like, okay, well, you have a veteran behind this game. So, that's why that game is good. So, I'm like, that, that's what, like, makes both of those games unique in their own way. Where it's like, you got, I, I don't really know too much about the developers from Ready or Not. But if this is, like, their first, like, major game that they worked on, you guys did an outstanding job. And then I'm like, of course, with um, Ground Branch. So, I, because, no, I want to talk on, like, you know, the... Well, I think, no, Ready or Not is the same way, too. But with Ground Branch, they have, like, all of the weapons and things that you need. Um, and it's all unlocked. So, like, yeah, you could just jump right into a game with, like, the weapons of your choosing. The mods that you want to add to those weapons. Clothes. It's, like, customization is pretty dope in there. Customization ain't really all that in Ready or Not. But they do have it where you can add, like, different mods and all that stuff into... Because I had just um, seen that uh, yesterday where it's, like, you don't have to unlock things. You could just very well just play the game and all that stuff is unlocked for you. So, anyways. But the difference, I had to say, between both of those games is i mean there ain't like really a whole lot of differences between it but like with gameplay style you will notice some like differences between it and stuff i feel like that the ai is like you can make the ai's uh smarter in ground branch um or you could just make them stupid and with ready or not you don't have that option it's like no whatever ai's you're dealing with those are the ai's you're you know dealing with and stuff more so talking like the enemy ai's um, and then with, uh, Ground Branch, I know in Ready or Not, they have it where you have, like, um, like, uh, AI teammates in case you want to play solo. Uh, if you want to play solo on Ground Branch, you are playing solo on Ground Branch, Ground Branch, meaning that you are in there by yourself. At least they give you the option of how many enemies you want. So, like, if you're wanting to just, you know, kind of start off small and then work your way, like, so, like, let's say if you just want to find, like, one enemy and take that a guy out, or you want to up it to, like, five enemies and take them out, you want to up it to ten. So, they have that option and i feel like that's what makes ground branch unique is like it's uh friendly to newer people so like if you want to just kind of like you want to put yourself in an environment where it's interactive and stuff you very well can do that and it has like this like wide um area of like you know testing out weapons and all that crap so yeah ground branch is unique in their um in its own way and ready or not so this is how i feel about ready or not ready or not seems like it's a more strategic and kind of like less well i it comes with action don't get me wrong but if you guys remember the video game payday 2 it's pretty much like the opposite of that you know that's how i would kind of view ready or not and then ground branch it's like yeah you could definitely tell it's it was a uh tom clancy game it's like it, it's almost like rainbow six siege but like a more strategic and thought out version of rainbow six siege i mean rainbow six siege is good too don't get me wrong but ground branch in my opinion i would say i would rather play i mean rainbow six siege is fun don't get me wrong but like i would rather play ground branch all right so not trying to downplay any games i'm like if i just have like that mood to play rainbow six siege i will play it and stuff but anyways um and then pricings on the game i think uh ready or not is um ten dollars more than ground branch 
let me open up both games because I think Ground Branch is twenty nine ninety nine. And then Ready or Not is $39.99. Yeah, so right now they have it on a uh, sale. Well, by the time when this video comes out, the sale might be over. But um, uh, yeah, Ground Branch is $29.99. And I think the developers, I don't think they said they, they're going to up. Wait, so there's all like, um, so they say uh, in the early access section, will the game be priced differently during um, and after early access? And they say yes. Early access will cost less than the full version. Final pricing is yet to be determined. And then ready or not, I don't know uh, what their pricing is going to be like. So they say, well, the uh, so same question. And their answer was, we intend to increase the price after our first major content update. So and and that's the crazy thing about it. It's like they have even uh, update um, came out with like no first major content like update. They came out with updates and they it like content updates but now it kind of leaves you curious like what's the final game gonna be like and then that's the same with ground branch it's like what's that final game gonna be like and so yeah both of those games are mad fun i definitely recommend like buying both and playing both to just overall see which ones you uh like and if you want to buy one or the other so if you're looking for something more of like tom clancy then ground branch i mean it's not really like tom clancy but you can tell like oh okay like yeah i can see now like the resemblance and stuff and then what ready or not it's yeah that game it's it's good fun in its own way it's just like the opposite of payday 2 so but just with like the less like arcade action in it and stuff so yeah, anyways, um, but if you guys were to ask me which ones do I like out of both, both of those games are good. Like, I played Ground Branch, and I can, you know, see why people would love that game a lot. And trust me, I do love that game, and I can't wait to see what the final product is going to look like. And then what Ready or Not, like, I, I love that game too. And I think that's honestly one of the greatest games I've played in recent years. It's kind of hard but to give out the answer. But I have to say since I've been playing it recently. And I haven't really been playing one of the other games. Or one, one of these two games uh, like for maybe a month or two or something like that. I have to say currently right now my favorite game is uh, Ready or Not. And probably once I start seeing some uh, more things with the uh, ground branch, then I'll probably get back into playing that. But I'm not trying to say, you know, oh, this game is better than the other. Both of those games are good in, in their own like ways and stuff. I have to say they're equal. But currently right now, I'm playing Ready or Not. So that's what my favorite game is right now. So anyways, and that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for uh, watching. Like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, if you are purchasing any tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code TMOSBOSS and it will knock $20 off your first purchase. And that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and peace.